Good morning. My name is uh, Leonard Thomas. I was the Economic Development Officer, uh, President uh, at the Development Corporation, and also Chief and uh, Counselor for a number of years in the community. And over that period, I have had a lot of experience in terms of the uh, difficulties we have in developing um, Indian Reserve lands. Mm -hmm simply because it's basically controlled by someone someone else when decisions have to be made. But I do um, support the land code uh, being developed and taken over by the administration of the council. Uh, simply that because that's something that um, I was a part of and when applying for the funds initially that we needed to do like um, a lot of other bands and province and across Canada were, were, were taking that program over and have more flexibility in terms of how Indian Reserve lands were basically used. And um, and I just wanted to make sure that people understand that, that this has nothing to do with um, what we call pipelines or uh, forestry lands off the reserve. I mean, this is specifically deals with on reserve um, decisions made for community planning. Uh, to know we have about 18 reserves and uh, scattered in the area, and this uh, land code would allow for the band council to make decisions on those reserves in the best interest of the band as they move forward. And knowing that um, some of these reserves were specific to, um, specifically designated uh, for individuals, especially the isolated ones, isolated reserves, or uh, designated for specific individuals to utilize uh, for their purposes, traditional use and their purposes. Uh, that's something that the, I think the council can easily deal with if the reserves are isolated and very small. So uh, certainly can use used for a lot of health reasons, or healing reasons, and um, based in a matter of a bank council making the right decisions and being supported by the rest of the community. So encouraging people to um, to vote yes, I think, is, is important. I think it allows for the bank council to do local decisions. They can hire their own engineers, surveyors, consultants basically to uh, to develop certain portions of the land for certain purposes, uh, schools, uh, stores, gas stations, or whatever uh, purpose that, that land has the most value on. It also allows for the uh, band to uh, deal with um, individual for, uh, band members that have large, large CPs, uh, certificate of possession, allow them to do business with those individuals in a way that it benefits both uh, the individual and, and the band council itself. So I would encourage everyone to vote yes. Um, it's not going to hurt anybody. And I think it, uh, it also will, um, has, uh, can beautify the reserve and does get control of the uh, decision making to allow them to make bylaws and how the land can be used um, in ways that it benefits um, everyone. So that's my take on this land code. Uh, I encourage you to vote yes.